So we get, um, we're talking about change. Um, and I try to make the point that uh, even if the change is unwelcome, even if, uh, you know, we think this is a bad thing, look for the bright side. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty Pollyannish. But yes, there are there are gifts. There are uh, presents that even tragedies uh, give to us. That and and you know not just you know always look on the bright side of life, as uh, Monty Python crew puts it. Um, but consider. You know, just look for what you can, what what good can come from this, and and pursue that. Um, now, I may seem to be changing the uh, the topic here, and I'm really not. This is kind of an extension of the same idea. Um, I watch far too many Hallmark movies. Uh, it's probably rotting my brain. Um, this is not uh, great uh, literature and art uh, in terms of uh, what's provided. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, one of the things that uh, tends to happen, uh, these are all romances, of course, and uh, yeah, about a third of them, Involve not the the principal character, but a friend of the principal character uh, is getting married, and the principal character is you know maid of honor or something like that. Yeah, otherwise involved in uh, the wedding in some way, and the bride always says, "I want this wedding to be perfect." And and <laughs> this is the, the Hallmark movies don't take the bridezilla stance here they they always agree you know everybody agrees with the bride yes your wedding should be perfect um now gloria was a wedding hostess at uh one of the churches and she uh for for a number of years and she always got this same uh comment from the brides and the bride's mothers, um, that the wedding was to be perfect. And she always uh, argued against that attitude, and specifically saying, uh, if your wedding is in fact perfect, nobody will ever remember it. What you guys are going to be talking about in 20 years' time, 30 years' time, 40, 50 years' time, what people will remember from your wedding are the disasters, the errors, the mistakes. And she's absolutely right. And we uh, proved this in our own wedding. Um, when, uh, uh, well, <laughs> the very first name in our uh, wedding, uh, you know, guest book that people sign. The very first name is somebody that neither of us knows. Um, it was just, it was a street person. Came in. A uh, woman dressed in a man's suit. Came in just for the free food. Um, was scarfing down sandwiches and uh, Gloria's mom caught her. Didn't, you know, assume that she was some relation of, on my side, uh, and uh, handed her the tray of sandwiches that she was gobbling from and said, here, pass this around. So she did. Um, you know, I can't tell you offhand who else was there. Well, I can tell you. Uh, but, um, you know, there's not many people that I can identify were or were not at uh, Gloria and my wedding. Uh, but I can tell you about her. Um... I, uh, oh, there was another, uh, one guest I can't tell you was there because uh, their car, uh, the radio antenna was broken off and 
bent into a hook to use to break into their car and steal the wedding presents that they had brought to the wedding and left in the car. Um, so, uh, you know, those are the things, the disasters, the mistakes, those, those are what you remember. And, there, you know, there is a lesson out of that. If our life was perfect, we wouldn't remember it. Um, I, I had a, a uh, university professor, a course in, in university, and, and this professor tried to make the, the point that heaven uh, was an illogical concept. It was, you know, it was uh, oxymoronic. Um, it's supposed to be perfect, and um, it would be boring. It's forever. Even if it's not perfect, you figure, you know, eventually you get bored with it. It just is, just simply because it's forever. Um, now, this uh, disregards, uh, you know, any idea that we have that heaven is different than earth. Um, you know, we, we will be different. And heaven will be different than what we are used to. Uh, I think we can assume that God will have made provision uh, and ensured that heaven is not boring. Um, but, you know, you can see his point um, that if things are perfect, uh, you know, it's, that's not what we remember. So, in a sense, and I'm maybe going to get a little bit darker uh, in, in talking about this uh, further, but we, you know, anything that goes wrong, we say, you know, oh, you know, why did God allow this to happen? Well, um, there are, there are all kinds of reasons. There are all kinds of reasons why this earth is not perfect, starting with the fact that we messed it up. I mean, you know, our sin has uh, messed up what God intended. And so, um, you know, bear that in mind when you want perfect, when you want everything to always be perfect, whether it's a special event or not. Um, this is... This is something that we have to bear in mind. 